How do you fix bad audio? It's a pretty windy day today. To great audio. I, I just got stung by something just massive, just flew into my suit. It's easier than you think. Have a look. Welcome back everyone to the Sketch on Wheels channel. Today let's talk about Motovlog helmet setup. I have a brand new Arai XD4 uh, ADV helmet here. I'm gonna set up to be able to run my GoPro for motovlogging. Love my Arai Region X helmet for the street, but I needed something a little bit better for off-road. Things we have today. Um, there's a few things that you have to have. I use chin mounts. Uh, this chin mount here on the Region X it's wide enough to where I can put the adapter right here. Uh, that's a GoPro item. You have to have it if you're gonna run external mics. Kind of sucks, to be honest with you, uh, that GoPro hasn't figured out a way. Well, I guarantee they figured out a way to run an external mic, but this is like a $99 product, and they, they sell a ton of them, so I understand it's business. I don't know where I'm gonna mount this on this XD4 helmet, because the chin mount that I have is really not very wide. And so we're gonna have to experiment. We're gonna have to see where it fits the best. Um, probably gonna use some 3M tape, some Velcro. I haven't done this with this helmet yet. So we're gonna go through it together and see how to set up this helmet uh, for motor vlogging. I like it on the front with the chin mount. It gives a good point of view perspective of the rider. It's at the right height. I'm not so sure about the ones that sit on top of the helmets and on the side of the helmets. Everybody does their own thing, but I see most guys running the front like this, most guys and girls running the front of the helmet. I really like how the chin mount works. So that's what we're gonna use. From there, you've gotta have a mount, a GoPro mount that attaches to the chin mount. But this right here, this is a uh, save the day. When I started this about a year and a half ago, my audio was ridiculously bad. Uh, I have a pretty monotonous voice. <laughs> it's not an exciting tone. And so I have a lot of bass in my voice, I think, and it kind of muffled it. I used the Purple Panda. I spent 70, 80 bucks on microphones just trying to get a good sound out of my voice and nothing was working for me till I, uh, I got this little mic. Um, and there's a ton of companies that make these. This is a replacement mic for an Xbox headset. My audio kind of sounded like Charlie Brown. You know, that wah, 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 wah. I've improved, it's gotten a little bit better. There's a lot of guys out there that are running some other things that are, are pretty expensive, that sound really good. They've got external mics they put in their jacket. Um, you know, they got it all dialed in and they're nothing against that. There's some great videos and great sounds out there with moto vlogs. I, I like them all, uh, but I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm not that guy. We're still gonna go with some cheap stuff. Um, I put money in my helmet, so I'm telling you, these Arai helmets are excellent. Uh, they're light, my neck doesn't hurt. I know there's people that like Shoei and different brands like that, which are great too. Uh, but once I wore one of these helmets, I just said, that's it. And, you know, unless somebody comes out with a better one, those are the helmets I'm gonna use. Um, very comfortable helmet. So let's get started. Let's see how easy or how difficult this is. Yeah, you know, it's fly by the seat of your pants when you're with me. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make some mistakes and hopefully the end product is what we're looking for. Back to the Rye XD4 helmet. Uh, gonna open up the chin mount here, see what we get. Really small profile chin mount. Alcohol wipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe down the front of this. Let's check it and see how close it fits. You know, it's not perfect. It doesn't account for this groove right here, um, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what it does. A key thing with these chin mounts and this 3M adhesive, it's best to heat it up with some kind of heat gun or hair dryer. I know it's hard not to go ahead and put the camera on, but really they recommend 24 hours for this 3M adhesive to adhere to the helmet. Let's warm it up under some heat. Let's 
again, try to wait 24 hours before you manipulate this chin mount and put a GoPro to it. There is a gap here, the way this helmet is. I feel it's got a good connection through the top third and the bottom third of this chin mount. I feel like there's enough of this gripping that it's gonna hold without any problem. Let's hope so, otherwise my GoPro is gonna be flying. So if you wanna see my GoPro fly, uh, check the link up above. I did a ride over on the uh, Foothills Parkway, lost my GoPro, didn't know about it, and I had to ride up and down the Foothills Parkway trying to find my camera that had fallen off my bike. Luckily, I found Here we have the XD4 helmet. We've got the chin mount finished. Uh, 24 hours, it's on there solid. Uh, I think we're ready to move on. So what I found is, and this is the camera that I use, I use a GoPro Hero 10, that you'll have to set it out a little bit from the chin mount, otherwise it points down. You need to be able to have some flexibility in how this moves. Another thing to think about, it's not a big deal, but if you're straight on the chin mount, the camera is offset about two inches. Solving the problem, I use a 90 degree mount. It'll move it over a little bit and it ends up putting the camera about right here in center. Typically what I do with this first mount is I mount it below. Instead of coming from the top, I mount it this way below. That way the camera sits a little bit lower and at least you get to use some of this air that can come into the front of the helmet rather than blocking everything off. It's still gonna be in the way, but it won't be as much, won't be in, in your line of sight up on top. So now if we look, the next step to this connection is gonna be, I need to mimic this, but I need to put it over here. So right here, if I add my 90 degree elbow in, 90 degree elbow is in, and the last step is to go ahead and mount the GoPro. So I've got plenty of gap here to move the camera forward and backwards. Um, now it's time to mount the adapter for the mic. I recommend the side door or something similar. It's got a little hole here that lets you put your mic adapter in. But yeah, so what I've done is I've got the mount, the chin mount, the GoPro mount, a couple of different devices here to move it out and also align the lens in the front. Now that I have the GoPro camera mounted where I like it, I'm gonna need to mount this mic adapter. We're gonna use one of two things to mount this adapter. It's either gonna be Velcro, or I'm gonna use some double-sided tape, whichever one works best. So I've got the GoPro mic adapter attached to the GoPro Hero 10. I've gotta figure out a spot for this big ugly box and to where it gives me enough length on this microphone to where it's up by the inside of the face mask. And I think I've located it. This little spot on the chin mount might be enough. If I Velcro that to the side, it sits snug right there. This mic comes up right here to the front. I can kind of attach it right there and it can sit off to the side there so the air doesn't blow on it. But I think that's as good a spot as any. And when I hold it tight, I'm able to take this plug in and out pretty easily. This here is the best position. I chose this special kind of latch Velcro uh, I'm gonna heat up both sides of these, put them in place where I need them, and let them sit for a while. Fits perfect. Now the key is, can I put this in and out? Looks good. Now that we have the mic adapter mounted, the GoPro's in a good position, everything looks square. The microphone we're just gonna mount to the inside so it's right up close to where I'm speaking.
Pretty straightforward GoPro setup on this XD4 helmet. So let's put it on, let's take a ride, and let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, the river's really low right now. They bring the water way down in the wintertime because of the spring rains. All right, let's move on. Beautiful there. Yeah, you can see how far the water's down. There's a little glimpse of the Smoky Mountains. A lot of folks around here with park ranger status. Just watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching the channel today. I uh, hope this GoPro helmet setup has helped somebody. It's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. There's going to be a time where I probably do a little bit more advanced stuff and, uh, you know, maybe do some external sound. I don't know. Uh, try to get the sound a little bit better, but it's a quick and easy to do and to start moto vlogging. So thanks for watching the channel. Stay tuned. We got one more thing with Zoe. Superstar, huh? <laughs> Where are you going, Superstar? Hey, Zoe. Come here. You look so pretty. What's tonight? Night to shine. Anna, you gonna let Zoe go to night to shine? What do you have to say about it? <laughs> I'm going with you, right? No. Night to shine? No. <laughs> <laughs>